Hello, this is Victor at RestoryMercedes.com. This video is for Danny in California. Uh, this is regarding e-gas module for V12 SL600. Okay, Danny, so this is the module that I was talking to you about. New capacitors. I drove on this thing about 300 miles. 129 chassis. Um, so I'm going to install this in a customer's car here. This is the first one I have online, so I can do that. And I'm going to show it to you that it does work now this particular vehicle I did throttles already so I know that throttle bodies are fine I'm going to make another set of videos uh, for in terms of testing your throttle bodies so this is his module I'm gonna put it aside here we're going to put this module in there it's been working just fine I just wanted to show you that everything is ready to go not the hood is not open all the way so I have to sort of hit it in there a little bit don't go too crazy just make sure that these tabs are flush yes they are okay so next we're gonna go uh, let me just put on the ignition let throttles to settle every time you do this throttle when you do the module replacement you want to put on the ignition for like 15 seconds or so let throttles learn their stops okay so here we have our ignition on we got the buzzing from one throttle i'm just gonna wait for learn if you don't do that there goes that's it so this is the throttle learn throttle lens learning okay both throttles are humming i'm going to leave that box open for now close this down just get a little radio over here i don't want to leave everything outside like such way not too good put it in my little toolbox here I know it's a mess, but it's winter time, so I don't have time to clean stuff because it's cold. So let's go start this car up and see how it runs. It's been sitting for quite some time, so hopefully the battery is not gonna let me down. Okay, as a matter of fact, maybe I'll go put in a little bit of gas in this car. So, this is cold start, it's 43 degrees outside, and yeah, it runs fine, so this is normal cold start, <clears throat> sometimes RPMs fluctuate a little bit here and there, not a biggest issue, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but this one seemed to be perfect, like my own cars fluctuate, and the mileage is way lower on my cars and they fluctuate but I got my vacuum leak or something but anyway I just want to make this video live just to show the module is in perfectly working order so next what we're going to try to do now is that we're going to go for a little ride because again buckle up Okay. Okay, this is cold start, so we're going to have first um actually we're going to have upshift delay energize so the car is going to run in first gear to warm up catalytic converters. That is normal. That is normal for all of these cars catalytic converters need to warm up so they work as efficient as they can so well let's just wait a little bit and um, I don't want it to drive it cold you know maybe I'll pull out a little bit just pull out and then I can idle it outside the driveway here go toward the front 
of the street right there. This is first gear. It's going to hold it in first. That is okay because again, this is for emissions controls to keep car, to make car warm up faster. Catalytic converters rather. But, so here we are in park. Acceleration is fine. RPM range is perfect. Yep, air pump is still running. Again, I have to wait a little bit. I'll try to drive it a little bit uh, just to warm it up a little faster because it's about 11.30, so we're not too busy out there on the street. So on the main avenue, it's not too busy. So let's go out there. This car has faulty suspension accumulators, so it's very bouncy. They're on order. So they will be replaced soon, so they will be nice ride again. But I want to show also cruise control operation. That is another thing that is important. I try to make the video like this, I guess. I don't know if you can see RPMs. Here, that was our second, gauge in, uh, six, second gear engagement. Third gear, cruise control. As you can see, I'm not holding. I'm just accelerating with the cruise control. Cruise control is operational. This is also another thing that needs to be tested on these modules. Sometimes cruise controls do not work. And so my, my foot is off the gas right there, as you can see. And I'm going to accelerate with cruise control. As you can see, it's accelerating. It's kind of difficult to make the video and drive, you know. We get serious points here for doing that in New York City. But, runs perfect. And cruise control works. Very important. So, Again, let me just have to watch out for. Well, I'm not technically holding the cell phone, really, so I shouldn't be breaking the law. I'm holding cell phone, so holder. It's not per se, I'm holding the cell phone. So the car was all warming up. I know it's going to be a long video, but again, I want to. Uh, I want to document what I'm doing here, so you know what you're getting. You're getting yourself a nice working module. RPMs are fine. Cruise control is not going to activate off standstill, so we have to go to about 20 miles an hour or so. Acceleration is fine. So I'm gonna make a turn on the other street. Let's go make it make a right over here. And then we're gonna go around. But as you can see it's totally fine. Everything drives just the way it's supposed to be. Everything works the way it's supposed to be. And I know this module was proven. Updated capacitors just in case as a proactive measure. I drove on this module for quite some time and the reason was is that because to be honest with you I just I just forgot I just had it in my wife's car and she drove and drove and drove and then one day I had to test the computer and I was like oh look at this module it's been there all this time for months and well that's a good test you know so I'm totally I want to sell something that I know that's good and uh, so I can sleep good at night and you know it's just you get in the good stuff and yeah that's my idea I don't like to just do some iffy stuff because it's bad karma so again we're still driving I mean it's been like a few minutes here that we've been driving around etc 
acceleration is fine. Potholes. Oh god, this is these are very narrow streets over here and I wanna go back on the avenue. Come on boy. This guy has to pass first because there's no room here for two of us. Yeah, it's a small, small place I live in, very tight in there, around here. Like a small little island in the Bronx. <clears throat> it's a very, very old neighborhood. It used to be some sort of like, uh, some sort of like shipyards back in like 1800s or something. And then they built houses. But before it was like a, I don't know, some sort of a, like a, ships replenishments and stuff it's a couple of farms supposedly but the island is 1.5 miles long so all right anyway so let's just do our final one so we're still driving everything is fine again cruise control activation my foot is off the gas and I'm pressing on the cruise control as you can see it's activating and it deactivates so Everything is fine in this department. I guess I'm just gonna record. Just the speedometer. Instrument cluster, rather. Yep, so I'm going to um, make another video for you to show how your throttle bodies work. They work fine just now. The wires are all done, the motors are overhauled, brushes are done. So everything is in order. And e-gas was the last thing that was dead, okay? So, yeah, the throttle bodies, I'm just approaching my street. So the throttle bodies, they were shorted badly. So that would not really surprise me that, uh, that was not a surprise to me that e-gas module was bad because shorts were very severe and therefore when that happens, when e-gas module fails, I mean when throttle body short, e-gas module can fail. And that's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. So the secondary gas, I sent you some pictures that you sent me. That thing was empty, that somebody just used it for parts, removed very valuable parts and just sold it to you. So it's a scam, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so as you can see all this time, we are good to go here. So next video will be of your throttle actuators, how they work. And that, I'm just, I just can't just stop rolling. I just have to just, I just park this car. So here we are, back to where we started, and yep, totally fine. Acceleration is fine. RPMs are fine. The range is fine. This is a slight acceleration. Everything is on point. So I'll go out there now. Remove the module, so you know you get in the same exact piece. Open the hood. So this is uh, this is basically a very good test. So let me get my and I get the other module. <clears throat> Actually, no. I have another e-gas to test, so I'm not going to do that. But this is the one that you're getting. Just have another customer with another e-gas module that needs to be tested as well. That's what I'm going to do next. This is how I remove modules. So this is it. This is the one that you're going to get. And off we go. 
All right, so this is going to be all for now. This is victor3storymercedes.com. Thank you for watching.